Hello, welcome back to Bunny Ballistics. Hitomi here again. Um, another ballistics test video for you guys. Um, and if you didn't watch my last video, I had a um, kind of a rant in the beginning um, about kind of um, fake content creators. So if you're subscribed to some of them that kind of just have a um, voice over other people's stolen content from YouTube, please just unsubscribe from them. Just don't watch their videos. Just block them, do whatever you need to do. Uh, but the uh, firearm guy, he made a really good video about those YouTubers. So go over there and uh, I think I can actually link it. So I'll link it somewhere and um, go watch that video, please. Um, if not, I'll link it in the bottom. Um, but yeah, get rid of those fake ones. Go like, um, subscribe to uh, the Firearm Guy, um, Honest Outlaw, um, Such00. Um, I, there's millions of others, but those are the three I have in my head. Um, okay, enough of that. So, the, the ammo we're doing today is a uh, Federal Hydroshock. These are not the deep versions. They're 124 grain, 9 millimeters. Um, so, yes. Let's get into, uh, I guess we'll show you the ammo first, huh? Show the ammo and the gun. So let's go do that. All right, and here we have our Federal Hydra Shocks, 124 grain, nine millimeter. They have a box velocity of 120 FPS from the muzzle. So what makes these interesting is they have a little, a little nub in the inside that I think is supposed to help it um, stop from clogging, I believe. So very interesting. There's the back of it, nickel plated. They're also sealed, which is pretty nice. And yeah, that's our Hydroshock. These are kind of an older design, I would say nowadays. And then we have our, our beautiful P365XL, four and a half inch barrel. It's got a compensator on it. Uh, that's what makes it about that, that length. Um, okay, let's get into the chrono. Okay guys, here's our Federal Hydra Shock. These aren't the uh, deep, these are just normal Hydra Shocks. Uh, 124 grain, and let's see what our chrono average of three shots is for this, shall we? Here we go. Probably should take the safety off. Oh, 305, that didn't work right. Alright, let's try again. Okay, 1082. 1080. Uh, let's scoot back. You guys might not see me in this frame. Ten fifty four. Here's our Federal Hydra Shock. This furthest one right here. And look at that, that's not bad. Uh, I forgot my tape measure, so give me one second. <laughs> All right, sorry about that. So you can see there's actually uh, two bullets. I had a mishap with the first one, unfortunately, and it kind of hit my track. Um, either way, they, uh, they both went about the same distance, so, uh, very interesting. 
So that's that's uh that's pretty cool. <laughs> they didn't go that far, but still pretty cool. So what is that? We'll say oh about twelve. Well, let's try the denim. I don't have high hopes for this one going very far either. Okay, we have our Hydra Shock through Denim. Now you can see that's the opening for it. Then you can see it goes all the way there. I mean, the wound cavity starts. You can see it there. It starts. It looks good. And then, just nothing. And then it goes all the way through our uh, first block. Kind of, sort of, all the way through, and it's like right there on the edge, like in between these two blocks. So, I mean, that's that's like 13 inches or so, 13 and a half, we'll call it. Yeah, I think 13 and a half is probably more right. Oh yeah, that wound channel just. Just stops. Interesting. Very interesting. Alright, we're going to pull all three of these out. And uh, we'll see. Alright, let's get to the fun parts. Well, it's all pretty fun. But, you know. Alright, so let's weigh these bad boys. So as you saw, we had... Um, so these are both the bear gel, but as you saw, there was one incidental one that wasn't exactly, um, I would say, a fair shot, which would be this one. Um, let's get some better light. So as you can see, shot one and two. So I would say technically not a fair shot, but I would still say it was um, pretty similar anyways. So we'll set that one down. Actually, let's measure it. Let's see what it came out to anyways. So 124 to 121. That's kind of our not fair shot. And then this is our fair shot. So 120.45-ish. So that's crazy. Okay, so they did lose some. And uh, we, we saw that. And let's get to our denim one. So... This is interesting. Look at that. There is definitely denim inside there. Now it obviously expanded and didn't clog, which is really good. But, you know, well, technically a clog, but it expanded still. Um, and that's all just in there. And here's the side. And you can really tell, I think this one lost a lot too. At least it looks like it. 122.8. Oops. But it also has denim in it. Oh, god dang it. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, it also has denim in it, so that's a little bit extra weight. So here's our fair one, number two. As you can see, this is our number three. <laughs> so these are the differences there. The one through denim really did not expand nearly as much, which is, you know, normal. Okay, so let's do the diameter. Uh, I'm not going to do the first shot. I'm just going to do the, the two fair shots. Okay. Okay, and as per usual, we're going to do three measurements. And uh, we will take the average and post it on the Google Docs. Google Docs is in the description. So our first one is a uh, 0.628 um this is the bare one as well bare gel 
and then we have 0.614 and then we have I 0.626 okay now we'll do our denim shot okay so our denim shot 0.555 0.518 and then we have a 0 0.530 all right so that was our federal hydroshock test so what do you guys think i think they did fairly well it was kind of unfortunate that they clogged we do have three bullets instead of two this time and all three seem to do pretty well um, let me know in the comments if you guys would use these um, they are a little outdated, I would say. Um, I'll have to get my hands on some of the Hydroshock Deeps and test those against this. Because um, those are interesting. They're, they're a little more expensive, which is why I don't have them. <laughs> um, on that note, uh, please subscribe. And make sure you hit the little thumbs up like button, please. Um, also, uh, if you'd like to join my Patreon, I'm going to have... Um, probably excess videos on it, um, little tidbits, extra stuff that, um, I don't know, just extra stuff. Um, there's not a whole lot on it right now, but um, I'm going to try and make it so even if you just donate our Patreon a dollar, however it works, a dollar, you're going to have access to pretty much everything, at least for the beginning. Um, and whatever you have access to now, I'm not going to take away in the future if something, you know, if... if more stuff gets added. We'll, we'll figure it out. Um, but um, I also have something else. So first five to ten Patreon people that I have. I will let you decide between some stickers with our channel name on it. Or um, possibly a previously fired expanded bullet that you like. Or even an unfired one for your collection. Assuming I can uh, mail those without an issue. And yeah, that'll be like the first five to ten. I only have one right now, and I'm waiting um, for their 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 message back on Patreon. So I don't know what they want yet. So we'll figure it out. And if you have something else in mind, let me know, and I will try to do it. So like maybe like I need cast bullets or something. Maybe we can get you like fifty or something if you're interested. So. You know, make sure to be a Patreon. You can get some pretty cool stuff right now. <laughs> uh, anyways, um, thank you guys for watching if you made it this far. Um, I really appreciate it. Um, you know, the normal. I love you guys. Bye-bye.